Well, we're back today with another car crushing video. We're gonna do the same thing as last time. We're just gonna drop some heavy objects on the cars to see what does the most damage. Let's check out what we're working with. I've been reading everybody's comments. I've been trying to think of different things to drop on these cars. So if you guys can think of something you wanna see, put a comment below and we'll try to get to it. Today, we're gonna to crush this old Cadillac and we're gonna drop this concrete block on it. And then that red beam of steel everyone wanted to see an i-beam this isn't exactly an i-beam but it's pretty close and we're going to drop it on this bronco i know a lot of people are going to be upset about this bronco because they're semi-rare but you can see how bad the rust is the only thing that's going to be a shame crushing on this is the the rear the top and the rear spare tire carrier but you can see this side is is completely roached but we're gonna get to dropping stuff and see what happens. Wow, that did a lot better than I expected. One thing everybody's been requesting is to try to open the doors after we drop something. It kind of works. Check out that passenger seat. It's a recliner now. I guess we'll try the driver door too since we did the passenger door. All right, that one's not opening. That one worked pretty good, but we're gonna pick it up and pop it again on the trunk. thing about that one is it was uh, plenty long enough to smash it all the way around I guess we'll give this one the door test as well it opened but I honestly don't even think that the door was latched anymore there goes the fiberglass top oh wow look it blew this side completely apart the uh, the rust probably didn't help with that. Let's try this door. It would have opened, but the side step got pushed up into the body. So, oh well. Well, this one was a short one today, but if, like I said, if you guys have any idea of some other stuff you want to see dropped, let me know. We're trying to save the cars as they come in and then if we see anything big or heavy that we could drop on them that looks pretty cool we're saving that stuff as well and just remember that all this stuff's getting recycled so i know some people might get upset that we're smashing these cars or some good car parts but at the end of the day everything's gonna get recycled So you can see realistically we don't actually need to drop anything on them to crush them we could just crush them with the machines we don't actually use a car crusher because we are only about 30 minutes away from the shredder and so it doesn't make sense for us to invest in a car crusher just to crush them down flat when we can already make legal weight in a truck with the way that we we smash them flat with the machine and I know this was a short one today, but as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.